Hey everybody, this is the Desert Whisperer again, and this time I'm gonna, I'm going to tell you about this experience with a rattlesnake, a very very interesting experience. One day I was walking through one of my favorite trails, and I looked to, my, to the right side of the trail and there was a really long, maybe about six feet long rattlesnake, diamondback. And so I stopped, I, I prepared my camera and I set it up on the tripod. I started taking some videos and the rattlesnake was coming towards where I was. So I backed away from it so just to give it a space. Because I thought as soon as, as he saw me that he was going to go in a diff different way. But to my surprise, um, he just kept coming. At some point, because I had the telephoto lens, this telephoto lens that you see in uh, mounted in my camera, um, at some point I couldn't get any more video because he was getting too close. Um, at the same time, I was standing right by um, like a bush, like a, it, uh, it was a, a bush that it had, it had a lot of thorns, so I, it was right behind me. So um, by the time I noticed the, the rattlesnake was too close for me to move away, and then my uh, pants got stuck on, the, on one of the branches from the bush. So I didn't want to move away too fast because I knew my, I could feel my pants were stuck to, to the, to the bush, and I didn't want to startle the rattlesnake. So I just stood there and I, I grabbed my phone as the rattlesnake was coming closer to me. I grabbed my phone and I started taking video with my phone, and you can see in the video um, there is my tripod in, in my camera. Um, and, and the rattlesnake just kept coming. I really thought when I saw it coming too close to me, I thought he was just to keep going uh, wherever he was going. And so I just stood there. I, I wasn't too nervous about it because I knew he knew I was there. So I wasn't scared about it because once rattlesnakes know that uh, or feel your presence, they uh, they don't really care as long as you don't start moving around too much or you don't do any sudden movements or you don't try to to attack them or anything like that. They are from experience. I know that uh, uh, most of them just are, act out of uh, defense, nor uh, not in an, um, how do you say, they don't just attack out of nowhere. They just attack when they feel threatened. So um, I just I just let it happen. I stood there. I I I got the video, and to my surprise, the rattlesnake came a few inches away from my shoe, and he kind of is uh, uh, he kind of wanted to sense what I was and, and he came really close to my shoe and then he went away a little bit maybe like a foot away from me and uh, he started coiling right next to me so by that moment and you can see in the video I pulled my leg away from the bush and you can see the, the branch just move a little bit and when I did that the rattlesnake like kind of um, that startled a, li a little bit, but he didn't really do anything. Um, then as he finished coiling, he again straight, um, like came to my shoe to just trying to investigate what, I, what it was. And then he went back to, to his coil position. But um, so then, because he was really, really close to me, I didn't know how to to move away. I really wanted to just walk away, but I didn't I didn't know how to do it. And 
So I stopped the video. A lot of people have been asking me why I didn't show the rest of the video or how I moved away. And it was because I, I turned off the video because I wanted to concentrate on how to move away, not because, that, because something happened after that. It was just that I wanted to pay attention, to pay close attention to where I was going to move. So um, when I turn off the camera, I just jump away from the rattlesnake. When I jump away, he got startled, but he didn't rattle or anything. He just like kind of got startled a little bit, but then he went back to, to sleep and he stayed there where, where uh, he curled. I don't know for how long he stayed there because I walked away and I left. But that was a very, very exciting experience and uh, something that I wasn't ex expecting. Some people have commented on that video. That video actually has, I'm not really sure right now, but I think it has more than almost half a million views. And some people even started commenting on that video that it was um, a rattle, uh, like a pet rattlesnake that I brought in the desert to, to capture that video. Uh, somebody else commented that, um, I brought the, that I had the rattlesnake inside a cooler with ice and that, the, and that was the reason that the rattlesnake was so uh, calm and it wasn't uh, in a defensive mode or anything like that. But it was, uh, I can tell you, I can assure you that it was a wild rattlesnake. And I will show you the video in, in this story time and please, if you like this video, please share it with your family and friends and I will come back with more story times about my life in the desert.